So hi, um, how you all doing? I know it's been crazy, but I hope you all doing just fine. I hope you're doing all right. So yeah, I want to talk about this thing called non-sexual intimacy. Um, I know each time we think of intimacy, we allude this to sex, all right? Uh, you see, growing up had days where people would tell you about what an intimate relationship is, okay? And usually, when this came up, the first thing that came to our minds was sex. Because that's all they taught us, you know? So, each time you get into an intimate relationship, you expect to have sex with the person that you are in it with. Because that's the only way you validate it. I'm not saying that's wrong. But what I'm saying is, imagine a relationship that's intimate only when it comes to sex. So, what if travel comes in? What if work comes in? Uh, are you telling me that it has to fail because you're not having the sex that you thought you were going to have? You know, because um, I think I think if sex is the only reason you're with somebody, then what's going to happen if you can't have the sex with them as much as you want to have it with them? All right, and so maybe this is the other thing that I want you to think about before we get into this non-sexual um, intimacy. Um, if you have a partner that you expect to work with, all right, you want to work with somebody, are you saying that if you only work and you're only intimate when it comes to you two having coitus, that you want to work whenever coitus is absent? And if that's the case, then I guess the relationship is very questionable. Because it seems like you, you don't have a fixed set plan for it, you know? Um, for a long time now, our women up until today still fight for equal rights. And part of the reason why they do fight for equal rights is because they feel like men uh, treat them unfairly. And it's, it all goes to one thing, and that's sex. Okay, so you look at that and you, you probably could tell that if the main reason why these women are fighting for equal rights is to prove that they are more than just a sex then we need to understand that if we stay only for the sex then there, there is a problem you hear me and there is a problem because you clearly could tell that the women are not saying they don't love sex and i'm not saying i'm i'm cool with feminism all right well i'm cool with orthodox feminism but but not like the like the Feminism that doesn't know it's feminism. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, I was I was gonna use a word, but pardon me. So, um, that's that's what I'm saying. So if if all these women are fighting for equal rights based off of, you know, trying to prove that they are more than just a bedroom, then I guess uh, we need to reconsider a couple of stuff. You know, so now non-sexual intimacy has this then erased in a type of way. Okay, I don't mean it, it's fully out, but I feel um, it helps. Okay, like it, it does help to a very, very large extent. You know, so um, non sexual intimacy is basically intimacy that has to do without getting physical. Okay, it goes as far as holding hands in the world, it goes as far as, you know, um, hugging while you probably. You know, cuddling while you watch the TV and, and um, it, it goes as far as a lot of places, all right? You can name the other places yourself. But, um, yeah, that's, that's what non-sexual intimacy is, really. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I just saw something, but here. Yeah. Um, that's what non-sexual intimacy is. So, uh, I think we guys and uh, the girls, too, out there that... Um, I think all they have to offer is sex 